What if I told you that there was a chance the Roman Empire would have actually never existed if they lost the Punic Wars, especially the Second Punic War against Hannibal, which let's face it was pretty close when you really think about it. <laughs> no, no, most of you Roma boos are gonna be like, Ludi, that sounds absolutely ridiculous. Well, there is an EU4 mod that allows us to see what exactly a world without uh, Rome would be like and all the various changes to the world considering Considering that Carthage would be the dominant power in the Mediterranean, I'm talking about post finum <laughs> I know what you're thinking now. Why is this mod in Latin? post finum after all, means after the end. In Latin. Well, clearly, because even the mod creator himself, Chewy, thinks this is a ridiculous idea. Ain't no way the Roman Empire could have ever lost. If you say anything else, you're gonna go to Roman jail. You don't wanna go to Roman jail, you hear me? Whatever the case, let's entertain the idea, because this mod is definitely one of the most unique mods out there. It has so many amazing features, so many new mechanics actually, which is quite surprising for a mod. You would expect the mod to just have a redone history file, but no, this mod actually not only presents a different world, but also has mechanics that go alongside it, which puts it in my personal top three mods for EU4 as of now, alongside Antebellum and Voltaire's Nightmare, for those of you that can run that mod. So at first glance, we do see a lot of differences around Europe we've got a very different Eastern Europe as well and with the more recent update we have a completely revamped Middle East I believe most of the changes with the more recent update for uh, post finim is around the Persian areas as well as the Arabian parts which as you guys probably know if you play this uh, mod before was not as well scripted before but with the recent update it, it's completely changed I mean it's probably more fun than the Western parts of Europe to play to be honest with you all and just look at the uh, religious map Boat, for example, we've got Evangelos, we have the Arabic religions here, Zoroastrians, Hellenic in the greater Macedonian areas, then of course Punic in the west because those scumbag Carthaginians uh, apparently won the war against the Romans, totally unhistorical, unrealistic, I know, I know, but it's fine, because guess what boys, we do have Italia, a remnant of the Roman Empire that managed to withdraw to the northern parts of the Italian peninsula, they are still some sort of a Roman religion, they still have have um well they have sabini culture which is a part of the greater italian culture group the, the italian peninsula also has a type of hre style entity where roma itself is the grand adirim and then we have some electors including italia itself and the rest of the members so obviously the best choice with italia is to just dismantle this monstrosity and wipe out everybody else in the italian peninsula in order to restore the roman empire okay the actual one that's why we're going to be playing as them today and i know what you're thinking ludi but chewy updated the middle east so much fun middle east bro fun fun flavor awesome i want to see those areas and to that i say share up you heretic scum we're playing as rome and you're gonna like it oh but ludi you only know how to play one nation every game i'm tired of it if you're tired of seeing me restore the roman empire you're in the wrong place buddy boy so let's see what we have to work with here we got rex ugyo sapio Bal who is not the smartest man around 301 oof that is that is a tough pill to swallow right there 14,000 initial units three ducats so we actually have a little bit of an economy we have a unique mission tree though that will eventually allow us to get back on the roman path of history our ideas include leader shock advisor cost reduction missionary strength goods produced fire damage 10 percent and infantry combat ability the missionary strength is going to be really great because we're going to need to convert all of these heretical scumbags to uh, Romana, the real religion everybody knows. We can also choose some blessings since we are a part of the Romana faith. I think I'm going to go for the missionary strength first actually because I do need that. Uh, can I get a second one? Nope. So what are the holy sites? That would be Mediolanium, Rome, Mazuna, which is in the south. Okay, that's going to be tough to go to. Carthage. What? Why is Romana Carthage one of the holy sites? Excuse me? Hello, sir. I love to see how we have the Great Kothon as one of the monuments of Carthage. That's actually pretty cool as you guys know the the great kothon was a massive shipyard one of the most impressive shipyards in uh ancient history where the bulk of the carthaginian uh, navy rested in and then also athens apparently is one more of the uh holy site and athens also has the seat of archon isn't that guy from like world of warcraft or some schnitzel i don't remember i'm not a nerd so i don't know these things <laughs> now we can of course convert some of these areas and that's why i got the missionary strength to make it easier to convert the stuff to a 
the true fate. The state's met up pretty similar to the base game, I'd say. Expel the Scarlet Delegation are gonna get rid of this uh, privilege. So this is pretty bad. Aggressive expansion plus 15% and all power cost. We gotta do this mission. One stability, Italia must make 12 mana per month or our leader must have admin 4. How much are we making per month now? We're making, we're gonna get one more from here. Boom, shakalaka don'ts. And we need a level 3 skill advisor. So we can get this guy and, re and upgrade them afterwards. So that's not the end of the world. However, we also do need one stability. So we're gonna have to wait for a while afterwards as well. Oh, that means we're not gonna expand nothing of the sorts until we get rid of this particular privilege because we don't want to incur all that extra aggressive expansion. Let's give the plus one mana privilege for all three of the estates now and just do a fairly standard estate meta here, basically the same like vanilla. I like how some things have been changed by the mod, like monopolies actually give max absolutism as well as max privileges for the estate here. That's a really nice touch right there. And it looks like we are gonna get some missionary maintenance reduction from doing that particular mission, which should be fairly easy to do. Let's get our rivals as well. We're gonna go for Tyrol. You know what? Tyrol is not a part of uh, whatever this schnapps is, the Italian Federation, so we should be good. And speaking of, look at this, guys. Chewie went through a lot of trouble to mod this particular new HRE style screen, which in my opinion is honestly better than the default vanilla one, so we should probably hire him to do the HRE screen for U5, am I right? Now we got the High Priest of the Italian Federation here, which grants some bonuses when that's vacant. Grand Marshal and the Grand Steward. We can see here how we gain Imperial Authority or Federal Authority and how we lose it. This is the Dominant Faith Tunic, essentially, and we can also choose who we want to vote for. I'm going to be backing Malta, just for the memes, because we all know Malta's not really going to get it, is he? Whatever we do, we just don't back the Romans, okay? That's the main point, because we're the real Romans, not these heretical scumbags. We got some new advisors as well, like this uh, Monthly Splendor guy, as well as the Attrition for Enemies. I really like that one, actually. We can also remove all migratory natives as part of the mod, which I guess is meant to improve the um, speed of the game and reduce lag and so on, so we can do that. Screw it. Why not? Everybody hates the natives, am I right? boys if we manage to proclaim the roman glory by having 25 provinces in north and 20 provinces in south italy we can then afterwards change to the roman nation get new traditions and ambitions roman becomes the new primary culture we become the roman republic and we get permanent claims on quite a few provinces so yeah that's the main point this campaign we're going to be re the roman empire removing this monstrosity of the italian schneberation so now in good old roman fashion i had a cow lick my face and my hair in order to get good luck for this run and uh, because we've also hired all the advisors we can do the council of mediolanum or medlanum apparently which we can get either until the age of discovery one prestige and stability or 75 diplo power if we reject the claims of the council i think i'm gonna be uh, reinforcing the claims of the council myself i want that stability and the prestige and i don't give a snaps about what everybody else says we're the real romanicums one more thing since we are the real Romanicums that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be shellacking recruitment so we get a little bit of extra manpower to do uh, this mission here. We're also gonna need a general, so we're gonna be hiring our horrible leader as a general. Let's see, get some decent pips. He's got actually pretty good pips. Now, that does count. And we also need to have 85% force limit. So that is gonna be easily attainable once we've uh, gotten 50% manpower. We're just gonna recruit a mercenary company. Also gonna be allying uh, the uh, Germans to the north so I get another mission done, the Lombardy League, and I'm overall just gonna get allies outside of the Italian peninsula, predominantly allying everybody in uh, the German areas in order to um, get less aggressive expansion with everybody else here since I will be wiping out all of Italy, so I don't care about their opinion at all. Maybe I'll get the Sardinians as an uh, ally too. Why not have a little bit of an uh, island nation as an ally? I personally cannot understand the difference in color between the Etruschi Rome carts and the Umbri wrong cards. Look at that. Did you even know there's two different colors here? I didn't even realize that. Look at that. That's two completely different ones. Can we make the Umbris a different color or the Atrishis a different color? Any of them? Because this is it's been on my nerves for the past two minutes, man. Please. Ah, oh, man. I don't have patience for this. I'm just going to be uh, exploiting my manpower in order to get some extra manpower quickly. There you go. All right. That's 50%. Now we're just going to get the uh, Mercenary Company too. It's time for war. It's time for Tachius Maximus. Roman legionaries. Hails, yeah. I know they don't have the best general, but they're Roman legionaries, so we're gonna hire them, okay? Also, that 
did not cost us any army professionalism or it cost us very little did, did they they probably changed that with the mod didn't they there you go that means we can do a rally the holy army and we got claims on everybody around us so we're gonna be attacking everybody that's weak as schnapps after analyzing everybody's alliance sets this would be the easiest so we're gonna be going for saluto to we're gonna be co-belligerating saluto let's attack yes maximus we lost the roman legionaries that is not great <laughs> apparently i was able to go to this province with the roman legionaries but the rest of the army couldn't follow i don't know why we need more mercenaries now and i think we're gonna rely on the good old a free company boys let's see if that took some of our army professionalism it did also the roman legionaries are the ones that do not specifically cost any army professionalism interesting holy shit they got 19 army tradition for me stack wiping their armies that is wild all right looks like it's time for me to do is a Piscius Delius force religion I think this is gonna be a recurrent theme for us we're gonna be making everybody our religion including Saluto over here is gonna come back to our religion the great part is that because they are a one province minor they automatically get their capital converted to our religion so they automatically have all their provinces Romana same goes for these bastards here so the Carthaginian religion Punic is gonna get smaller and smaller oh let me check actually the other religion so we have Druidic Germanic Slavic Norse wouldn't Germanic and Norse be basically pretty much the same then we have Suemensko Romuva we've got Tengri and a massive amount of uh, land Hellenic and most of the Greek world and we've got Evangelos as well here Jewish and so on whoa there buddy 110 ducats that is actually amazing these guys are my rivals they're weak as shit i'm gonna attack them <laughs> didn't even realize my rivals are this small little schnappeldorp here i thought i had bigger rivals yep that's right it's jover ferrara it is a freaking jover for you i gotta be careful with these guys they might have more troops they do okay let's get back up in that case why can i not back up well that's a little bit weird but sure i like how the trade uh nodes are completely different too so we have the main one in the north which is an end trade node and the one in the south is actually not an end trade node it has two outgoing uh, trade winds do we have any other end trade nodes around here maybe not in the british isles that's for sure maybe in macedonia we got one we don't it's a semi end trade node it has two outwards maybe in carthage we do oh okay so carthage has one end trade node and north italy has one the node in uh alexandria is also a semi end trade node i would assume there might be some more end trade nodes in asia for balance purposes i'm just guessing though but i like to see what they did with uh with uh the italian and the north african bits though that's cool oh looks like my ally actually attacked tyrol which i am gonna assume they will be annexing considering they are a little bit of a warmonger here let's go ahead and uh, get our show of strength which in turn means we got a hundred of each mana points and i believe we did one of our age objectives too yes we did humiliate a rival i'm also noticing that pretty much every single province in italy has extremely high development I'm talking insane amounts of development, so it's gonna be a lot harder than I imagined to take all these lands. Before the big war with the Romans, we do need to get a bit of a closer border with them, so uh, let's attack Modena, which is allied to this little schnapple dupe uh, free city or whatever it's called in the north. It is called a free city. Maybe they should change that for the mod, so it's not basically very, very similar to the HRE system, isn't it? Oh, if we get two more provinces in here, then we can get permanent claims on Etruscia and Emilia. Right, okay. Well, you know what? That means we probably should attack Cunea or one of these uh, low development areas next. Let's see where Renaissance spawned, shall we? It spawned in Attic. It spawned in freaking Carthage. Come on, really? I mean, fine. I guess it makes sense because the central focus is Carthage, right? Wait, did I just see that? Saluzzo's no more? Oh, come on. Really, guys? You're going to be doing this to my beautiful Saluzzo? But seeing as uh, the only ally of Liguria is Genoa, which I'm already at war with, I am going to be attacking uh, Liguria so i can actually fully annex them am i able to annex them though i am okay so oh my god that's 52 aggressive expansion that is wild maybe i'll vassalize them instead since it's so much okay what the shit kunea you're literally attacking them also now bro the king has fallen long live the new king andrio which is uh short for subscribe to ludiate history i'm not making this shit up okay that's what his name means okay ask chewy really oh screw you kunea 
I had a free kill on those bastards and now you take it away from- You suck. The cloth guilds of Mantua are rebelling once more. We can choose to remove the home of the Mantua clothiers or we can just uh, crush the rebels. I'm gonna go for option B, crush the scumbags. Thank you very much. And let's go ahead and get filthy rich by taking all of Genoa's schnapps, shall we? We kind of did gain a little bit of uh, war exhaustion from not piecing out Mantova, but it's worth it because now we directly border three other nations including Bologna, which I kind of want to just wipe out so I have direct access to Rome after. Looks like I can also join a coalition against Cunea. I will be doing that simply because they piss me off. Let's check who else is in that coalition. Is it just me? It's me and Genoa. Can we make them a rival? We can. Oh, nice. We can apparently proclaim ourselves defenders of the Roman people. Hell yeah, we're doing that. Increase religious tension. We have a religious tension mechanic, apparently. I didn't even know about. I like it, though. Nothing says gameplay as well as religious tension. I was about to attack Bologna, but I just noticed they joined the trade league, so that ruins all my plans. I have to go back to the original plan of attacking uh, Cunea instead and just consolidating ourselves in uh, the northern parts of Italy for now. Florence is a good idea to attack too, since Florence also borders the Romans. Holy shit, 20 development. That is wild. That is actually wild. They start with 20. Oh my god. I'm actually gonna call in my allies in Lombardy up for this war, because uh, it's gonna be a little bit easier if we do so. We want to make this war as easy as possible for everybody. Taking two provinces from the north is going to be crucial for our expansion. And it's actually not going to be much of a coalition afterwards, too. Oh, yes, baby. We got them good. Oh, can we actually reach these guys as well? We can. Oh, my God. It is so freaking Jover. That is basically the majority of the enemy army right there. We literally wiped out more than half of their armies now. I think I'm going to call Ost home to this war, too, so they can help me out with the uh, Florentine and Pescara troops that are kind of ravaging my uh, eastern parts of my country. Come on, Ost home. Don't disappoint me. Me. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. They're doing amazing. Take back my lands, please. Okay, now to figure out where the hell Pescara is. Okay, I found it. That is a cute little province, though. <laughs> Only 10 development. You know what? If I'd co-belligerated these guys, I probably could have annexed them too. Ferrara, welcome to the true faith. The real faith, not that schnappy dupes punic faith like those, you know, weaklings in Carthage have. You got the real one, boys. I think what I'm gonna do with uh, Florence here is I'm just gonna turn them to my religion because the amount of aggressive expansion I get from them is just wild. I'm gonna probably not take anything else except these two provinces in this war and then I'll just uh, take stuff after I've dismantled the jury. There we go. That is beautiful. We also made them our religion so now we got yet another nation that joined the fray and with consolidation of North uh, Italy we can do more claims on Etruscia and Emilia so if we check the map we've got most or if not all of uh, North Italy as our permanent claims. Well it seems like Illyria's at war with the neighbors, so the moment is here. Let's call Lombardia Ost home, and we will be gunning for the capital of Illyria and the capital of Rome, which in turn means we're going to be able to uh, dismantle this monstrosity that is the Italian Federation. Once more, amazing screen. Love to see it. Great job on the on the interface, the mechanics and everything. I'm actually really impressed with it, and I just found out where the religious tension is. It's here. I'm guessing when religious tension reaches 100, we're going to get a religious war. Awesome mechanic not gonna be around to see it because they're gonna be gone. Freaking heretical Italian Federation. Disgusting. Disgusting. Oh, the first to fight, y'all. Yeah. Chanel. Get schnappled, dude. No, I just realized I can actually ask people for knowledge sharing now. I don't need for this to wait to spread to my lands anymore. So give me what you know, Sienna. Danke schon. I'm just saying all these German words because clearly we're uh, late game Romans, which is mostly Germans disguised as Romans, really. That's why we're also besties with the Lombards who also are our religious. Illyria is basically secured. Let's do a little bit of Carpeticus Sigicus here before we start focusing on the actual Romans. No, this fell a second before we got there. Come on. What is this, bro? Heck, GG's, Rome. Or should I say fake Rome? Because we're actually the real Romans here, okay? You just have the name, but you're not really the actual Romans. Yes, scum. It really is nice to have friends. Uh, looks like we can also call in more friends. Sure. Let's call everybody in. Make sure that the Romans learn who's actually the Romans, okay? I'm obviously doing this so I can finish this war a little bit quicker. I got my allies doing quite a little bit of the heavy lifting, to be honest with y'all. Oh, man. Come on. Hurry up with that siege. We got freaking five war exhaustion again, and it's growing by the day, so we need to peace out as soon as possible. A great day for all of us. We have all the cities required so we can end the Italian schmagadation. There you go. 
200 splendor, 25 power projection, and 100 prestige. And the best part is that this doesn't exist anymore. So now we can just expand uh, like crazy in the Italian peninsula. And also, I'm going to take a few loans here and uh, adopt Renaissance. Or better yet, I can just ask the Romans to give me their money. That works for me too. I'm also going to cancel all of their alliances. Holy mother of God, 505 ducats from these guys? That is actually wild. That is genuinely freaking wild. Now, that does mean we got like 300 overall for ourselves. So we can use that 300 to embrace Renaissance and then get these technologies, which we're kind of a little bit behind with. Now, there's uh, some interesting new ideas here. Assimilation, settler increased native assimilation, goods produced culture conversion, aggressive expansion reduction. Okay, that's an interesting new one. Liberty ideas as well. Give admin efficiency, morale of armies, firepower ideas. That is really juicy right there. Artillery levels versus fort and barrage cost 50% reduction. Wow. Wait, do we have the Portuguese? No, we don't have the Portuguese. <laughs> I was going to say, can we get 100% reduction for barrage cost? I really do like this mod. First off, it does give a very different setting to the game itself, right? But more importantly, it's just a fun mod, man. And it's actually pretty well balanced. Like, not only is the setting fun, the balance is on point, right? And you have some set things you can do. Even if you say play as the Macedons or as the Romans or whatever you want to play as. And by the way, this is Troy. That's pretty cool to see. Can you actually release Troy? You can release Anatoly this. Interesting. Would be cool if you could have Troy as a city state or something of the sort as a part of Macedon. And then you can do some playthroughs as that, right? Post Finim's also got a massive update, which I'm going to cover soon. And that's going to revolutionize another big chunk of the game. I'm going to finish it off here, though. I had a lot of fun. And I do recommend you guys check out the mod for yourself. You'll have a link to it in the description below. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it a lot. Make sure to uh, give it a five star on the modding workshop. Love you all and I'll see you in the next one.